this is Salim Khan and today I am returned with my new topic that is a kinematic question of JE Main 2019 or uh, that was asked on 9 April in second shift. So this question is really a very nice and fantastic question which is asking to us that the position vector of particle changes with time according to the relation RT is equals to 15 T square I cap plus bracket 4 minus 20 t square bracket close j cap what is the magnitude of the acceleration in meters per second square at t equals to 1 option number a 50 option number b 100 option number c 25 and option number d 40 this is our question so first of all this relation has been given that the rt okay rt is given as 15 t square plus okay i cap plus bracket 4 minus 20 t square bracket close j cap this is given the relation means it is given that the position vector as a function of time okay this is given the relation so after that we have to tell the acceleration of the particle in si unit we can call also in meter per second square at t equals to 1 this we have to tell so only what we'll be doing here is since we know that acceleration is what acceleration is dv by dt okay acceleration we can write as dv by dt and we we can write as dx by dt this is a equals to dv by dt while v equals to dx by dt and if we put the value of v means dx by dt in this given equation so acceleration we can write as d2x by dt square this is means the double differentiation of x okay that is so if we two times differentiate this x okay or we can also put r here since we know x and r play the same role okay if you want here r you can write if you want here x you can write so if you double differentiate the r so the whatever is coming that will be our acceleration so first of all uh, if you want so first of all double differentiate or if you also want so first try to find out the v we can do that since we know v is equals to dx by dt means which is equals to what differentiation of this term of course then let us write here differentiation of 15 t squared plus i okay i cap plus 4 minus 20 t square bracket close j cap this is of course a differentiation of this term and if we differentiate it so which is equals to what 15 t square i cap differentiation 30 t 30 t i cap now plus plus what so first of all since we know 4 is a constant and differentiation of any constant itself is 0 we write that if imagine a is a constant a is a constant then of course we can write that the da by dx will be equals to 0 differentiation of any kind of constant is 0 then the differentiation of 4 will be also itself 0 so plus 0 minus differentiation of 20 t square j cap then it will be 40 t so 0 minus 40 t j cap is minus 40 t j cap minus 40 t j cap which is equals to we can write also like this 30 t i cap minus 40 t j cap this is the velocity this is actually the velocity of the particle and if you want now you can differentiate this and get the acceleration because acceleration we write as dv by dt which is equals to what the differentiation of velocity as a function of time means the differentiation of this this term 30 t i cap minus 40 t j cap this is means the differentiation of this term will be called our acceleration of this particle and if we differentiate this term so we'll be getting 30 i cap minus 40 j cap this is the acceleration of the particle but since we know that acceleration is just a vector quantity means it has a magnitude as well as a direction and here since we know acceleration we have found so since we know that i cap and j cap are telling the directions are telling the directions of the acceleration while those 30 and 40 they are telling actually means what is the magnitude of acceleration but here in question it is asking only what is the magnitude of acceleration so 
if we take the mod of this, imagine I am taking the mod of this hole. Okay, mod of this hole means that's well that will be the magnitude of my acceleration, of course. So if I take mod of this or the magnitude of this, so which is equals to what? Which is equals to root of i cap and j cap. Since we know i cap dot i cap, that is one j cap dot j cap. That is of course one. So one will be multiplied to them, and will be getting first of all thirty square. What is thirty square? Nine hundred plus forty square. Forty square is sixteen hundred. Which is equals to what root of? Since we know this will be doing, so it will it is twenty five hundred. So means two thousand five hundred. Which and root of two thousand five hundred? Everybody know it is fifty. Means the acceleration is a fifty. Okay, in meters per second square because already everything is given in SI unit, or we can call that the velocity we have found in meter per second. Then the acceleration will be also in meter per second square. So acceleration is fifty meter per second square. But here we can notice one very nice and interesting thing is here in question it was giving at t equals to one. But here we can see that there is actually no relation of time with acceleration when we differentiated this. Okay. The velocity we got acceleration, which is what, which is 30 i cap minus 40 j cap. But we can see here and notice when very careful thing here that there is no relation, there is no time in this acceleration. Just like I wrote that a a is equals to what 30 i cap minus 40 j cap. And here we can see that the time here is missing. We have no value of time is there is no relation of time with the acceleration. So whatever it may be, t equals to one or t equals to two, t equals to three or t equals to four. At any time we can call that the acceleration is same. Acceleration of the particle is just 50 meters per second square. So acceleration is constant in this case. Means we have a uniform acceleration or the acceleration is constant. So if we want, we can match our solution. Solutions. Okay, option number A, 50 meter per second square. Of course, in option number A, we are getting the correct answer. Hence, option number A is correct. While option number B, C, and D are the wrong answers. And for this particle, whose position, okay, whose position time relation is given by R T equals to 15 T square I cap plus 4 minus 20 T square J cap. For such a particle, the magnitude of acceleration will be always given by 50 meters per second square. So this was my today's topic based over a very nice and fantastic kinematics question of J E E mains 2019 that was asked on 9 9 April in second shift. So thank you to everyone.